who's manning the booth right next to us. If we get anything wrong, he will let us know. J.P. Smith starts things off here tonight in a crisp 40-degree weather cool night in Harriman, Utah's Mikey Teo. Oh, yeah, MLR players first. in looking to take this ball out now and perhaps box kick. Here it comes. Into the Harriman night sky. Duncan Matthews, the full black. Pull back, excuse me, elevates and catches. My name's Rhino. I, I get in people's ways. Overthrow by Goff, kicked in the air by J.P. Smith. Connor Burns thought that was going out, bounces to Goff, who throws it backwards towards Smith, playing fly half, and then Smith drags Danny Christensen into touch. And now he's uh, going to uh, going to a card, it looks like, and there it is. Being given to given the captain. To, given to Rickard Hattie. Reed Watkins, the Canadian, played for the ACL Pass 19. The Arrows last season, now Seattle, and they've got it wide left. Duncan Matthews inside ball to Lawina Futi, who cuts it inside. Yuri Van Vuren finally takes him down. This Utah Warriors team doing a better job of getting all 15 players in the And now it's Utah scrum, five meters out. Danny Christensen sets it in on the left side. That's a good scrum from Seattle, though. Blowing this up. And where is the ball? And Seattle has blown up that scrum and won the ball back. And not attacked straight. You can see them stepping out. Landry's got his head up, and then Duratalo does push around the corner there. Or not, excuse me, not Duratalo. That's um, the man they call MJ. And being patient with it, they're getting a quick recycle, which is keeping Utah on their heels. This is Puti, who had the great defensive play a moment ago. And now Scott Green's going to to be able to make this kick and finally get some points on the board for Seattle. Kick is up. And that one is center cut for three. And so Seattle, still three nothing Seattle. Eight and a half minutes left in the first half. Chipped forward, Calvin Whiting, easy, easy grab, but uh, advantage would come back for Seattle. Warriors and the second set of points now makes it six nothing Seattle. Late first half, and Seattle takes this line out away. Another execution error by Utah inside the 22. Duncan Matthews trying to line break, flips it back to Booty, who offloads it to Dan Creel. Chased down by Makani, but Seattle in business. That was a beautiful flick pass on the inside for the trailing line. Just hung in the lane for Futi to run onto. Lopetti. Ball getting real wide now with Matthews. Landry rumbling. Thought he had a first minute try as Ross Neal penetrates the 22. Seattle trying to go up two scores here. Matenga getting things going. Lopetti now. The grubber forward. Record Hatting is chasing it and grabs it and dots it down for the try. What a play by one of the best eight men in the league. Record Hatting his seventh try of the season that you trust to back themselves with pace and run onto the ball. The left foot kick through traffic, and then Hedding has Mockany outside of him and Van Vuren inside of him and still dots it down for the score. Landry has been resurgent. Alatimu has been great. They have other weapons on this team, but you saw how much they struggled in the 10 minutes he went out with the yellow card, and now all of a sudden back in the game and making an impact in the final minutes of this half. Danny Christensen trying to line break. Ball pops out. Chad Goff, Mockany. Cruce, Mikey Teo. Teo goes to ground, lays it back. Good jackal. Good push forward, though, by Cruce in the breakdown. Makany, Rickard Hatting takes him down. Ball pops out. Bodies on the floor. Now the ball gets wide. Not a lot of bodies over there. Lance Williams throws it backwards. Utah trying to go forward with Calvin Whiting. Ten seconds plus extra time coming up here at the end of the first half. They go short side of the field with Danny Christensen with bodies over there. I don't know if that's just a, a setup to try and get space, but I would have played more to the open side of the field. And Buren. There's also a reason I'm not playing rugby, because I don't make good decisions <laughs> in life or on the pitch. <laughs> we'll talk about those life ones coming up later. Burns Hunter with a gas. Burns steps to the left, and he's going to go all the way for a seven-pointer, and that's a big moment for Utah at the end of the first half. Connor Burns' second try in MLR. 
Rugby Foundation as we take another look at the Lindenwood rookie dotting it down. He's been so great for this Warriors team, and it was the little backdoor pass from Mika Kruse once again getting himself involved, coming off that left wing, circling around the right side. Quick step from Burns and showing his experience and his closing ability there to get the automatic seven. Burns goes the distance, and at the half, it's 13 to 7. Seattle up. We'll break it all down coming up after the break. I love these games. It's great to be out here. So, you know, now I'm getting a little broadcast experience. Uh, abso absolutely. As Andrew Duratalo bobbles in, that's going to be a uh, knock on to start things. And uh, I think it's a really unique thing with rugby. And I, and I feel like I still don't quite understand all the unique ways you could use it strategically. Yes. Like it, that one try they scored, Seattle. They kicked forward. Exactly. Right, which which can be to your advantage. They call it a grubber. He kind of kicked it on the ground. The ball uh -huh. bounced a little differently than the uh, football. As they go wide left now with Mikey Teo, inside ball to Calvin Whiting, former BYU All-American. So a couple close connections here to the college game. Chad Goff, former Utah Ute. Britain's in here, so i got to throw that out there every yep. time as Utah's getting near the try line. And if they get a try and a conversion here, they can take the lead back just like that. A bind inside to Franco Vandenberg, just left of the post by a bit. Danny Christensen trying to dig it out. And then it goes forward, and Utah has scored a try. And Scott Green, let's go, is maybe saying, now hold on just a minute. He's he's uh, going to take a look at this one. He would, in the locker rooms, we would have giant scrums with the football team. No, no, I, I can show you videos. <laughs> you know, we're all That's just in awesome. the locker room. Which is very exciting. We appreciate him taking the time to chat with us as the Utah Warriors score. And the conversion is good. And just like that, Utah is up 14-13. It's been that way for a century, and it's not going to change. Utah is trying to blow up playoff hopes here. Seattle trying to stay in the playoff hunt in fourth place. Dan Creel inside the 22 for the Seawolves. Down one with 18 minutes and change to go. Larson with a big crash ball forward. Watkins with some space. Watkins near the five. Get some help. Utah trying to retreat. Get numbers. Watkins digs it out. Near the post, now to the left. Now to the side and then right there for Dan Creel again. And Scott Green is looking on. Utah trying to defend here. And the Seawolves dive in. You hear the cheer. And Green, I think, is saying held up. Yeah, that's the call. You heard the cheer from the Seawolves thinking they had dotted it down. So as Hadding goes in now, there's Uhila whiffing on the tackle. They were looking for maybe some kind of contact and fun in rugby that you can hear those conversations. J.P. Smith conversion, this is big, and it's good. And that just might do it. We'll see how much extra time is allotted here. Reno Herbst has taken off his scrum bath, and there it is. Seattle has won. That was the last possession for Utah. They had a chance. They kicked into touch, and it is over. And for the fifth time this season, Utah has won by, or lost by one score, and Seattle comes in in just the third time in Harriman.